Windmill Animal Hospital has all those answers for us. Thank you so much. It's always a tongue twister for me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is really interesting because she sent us an email about yeah, I, all this. I kind of let my thoughts flow in that email because it's a lot to think about. It's a big commitment to bring a new puppy into the house. They are. They, they are like having another baby. And so many people want to do a Christmas puppy. Yeah. Do you really want a Christmas <laughs> puppy? <laughs> think of everything that's going on. People coming and going, mm -hmm. travel, guests staying at the house, all the hectic events going on, and a puppy that needs to be walked every two hours mm -hmm. and cries all night long. Yeah. It, it's a lot. <laughs> so what are some of the things, I know you sent us a list that, that is really important to consider. I'd never thought of that. Well, timing is important. Mm -hmm. Bring a new puppy into your life when you have time to raise a new puppy. Mm -hmm. They're very time intensive. It's like bringing an infant into the household. So setting aside the timing concerns, think about what kind of dog you want. Mm -hmm. uh, how much coat do you want to deal with? How much shedding do you want to deal with? Right. Uh, how much are you willing to lay out money-wise on maintenance, such as grooming? Right. Poodles, cockers, schnauzers, they need to be groomed every six weeks. They do. They you do. know, $30, 40 $50 dollars a, a pop. Right. Uh, toy breeds of dogs need to have their teeth cleaned regularly mm -hmm. or they'll have terrible periodontal disease and such bad breath you can't stand to be around them. <laughs> and so are you willing to pay for the maintenance of mm -hmm. that pet? And how busy is the pet? Are you willing to keep the pet entertained long enough to keep them out of trouble? Right. Because, like, a German short-haired pointer is not a good choice for an apartment. Right. Uh, however, they're adult, really active, They're right? very they're active. All the sporting breeds are active. Yeah. And is it going to be indoor only or outdoor only? Mm -hmm. And if it's going to be outdoor only, why do you want a dog? Mm -hmm. So that's a lot to think about. Yes. You can't just tie them up in the backyard and leave yeah, them. Yeah, or your best friend has some kind of dog, and you're like, oh, that's cool. Let me get one, too. Because <laughs> right. dogs can be very expensive. Right. And you said fitting your lifestyle. Right. Well, that's another one. Right. Making sure that it, it kind of corresponds. If you're right. really busy and you're gone all day, no, chances no. are it's not going to work. No, it's hard on the dog. The dog will find ways to entertain itself when you're not home mm -hmm. that tend to be very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Chewed up furniture and drywall and that kind of thing, all barking all night long in the backyard, right. things like that. Also, many breeds of dogs are not suitable for kids mm -hmm. or for small children, for a noisy, active, hectic household. Mm -hmm. So you need to be careful and okay. to think it through because it is a commitment for anywhere from 15 to 20 years. Right. And with the health issues that particular breeds will have, like you think of knee and hip issues with Labradors, you think mm -hmm. of skin problems and eye problems with Bulldogs, the dental issues with toy breeds, the right. grooming needs of any coated breed. It is a financial commitment. Mm -hmm. And if you don't maintain the pet, the pet will suffer mm -hmm. and will be uncomfortable and right. that's cruel. So you need to think it through. And you say, you put here where to get a puppy. That's also yes. important, right? That's a very, very important thing. 80% of puppies that are produced come from a puppy mill situation. Mm. And a red flag is if you can't go out and meet the parents of the dog mm -hmm. and see the premises where the puppy has been raised. Uh, another red flag, if they have three or four different litters all at the same time, that oh, means they had three or four mama, mama dogs that mm -hmm. had puppies all at the same time. Right. Uh, another red flag, they have three or four different litters of three or four different breeds at the same time. Mm. Yeah. And do you really want to buy a puppy from someone who the only reason they created that puppy was to make money off of it? Yeah. Because that means that they did not pay any attention to, was that dog suitable to have puppies? Was it sweet? Was it mm -hmm. healthy? Right, all those things and are go, important. A reputable breeder will guarantee their puppy's health. Okay. And a reputable breeder will interview you just as stringently as you will interview them. Right, right. Because they want their puppies to end up in a happy place. Thank you so much. And like Dr. Price says, when choosing a puppy, remember these important tips. Timing, indoor versus outdoor. Will it fit your lifestyle? The cost, his temperament, and where you'll get the new puppy. So those are important. And